Tom, what's going on, man? Good, I'm back in the UK. I got out of New York, so about six weeks ago now. Um, isolating here is a lot easier than being in a small apartment in New York, that's for sure. So what do you what have you been doing? What are you doing? How is it different in the UK? I mean, New York is crazy. I was in, York, uh, in Times Square. I drove through there uh, Monday on Memorial Day. Nothing. Mm. Ghost town. When was the last time you were in New York? Six weeks ago. Okay. No. Yeah, so it, it was pretty crazy then. <laughs> what, was it just ghost town? Pretty much. I just I didn't leave the apartment. We had three people in the building that had coronavirus, so I didn't, I didn't leave. So what are you doing? What's the difference? In there. Are you in London? No, no, I'm in Nottinghamshire. So I'm in a village where there's about 500 people. And okay. they're all out on the green celebrating BE Day because it's like nothing's happened. It's bizarre. Oh, really? So are they breaking quarantine there? Yeah, they are, obviously. But yeah. <laughs> they're all in bed at nine o'clock. I'm not, it's not as if like the only person to ring them, the police on them would have been me. So I thought better not. <laughs> <laughs> so. Now, okay, you let me, I don't want to say anything I'm not supposed to, but you obviously no. have a new girlfriend. Can you talk about that? Are you allowed to? No, that's that? ended. That ended. The new girlfriend's out? Mm, yeah. Last episode. Okay, so are you are you dating anyone right now? And if you can't say, mm. just tell me. Am I doing it yeah. already? I am. You are dating someone? Yeah. So we're taking ni nice and slow, not putting it in the public forum, not having them on TLC, not... No, just try and you... find some. Yeah, try and find some normality out of all the madness. How long you guys been dating? A mm, few months now. And this is a, a nice British girl. No more American girls. Mm, it's, mm, <laughs> not British. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, that, so you, so you're, you're dating, and are you able to see her with the court? Uh, through video chat, I guess. That's about it. <laughs> Okay, so she's not like in your in your town. No, no. Okay. I'm at, <laughs> okay. All right. We have happy birthday. We have a birthday request from Angelini's. What was it? June sixth. Angeline Music w wanted to see if you would wish a happy birthday. Her birthday's coming up June sixth. So if that's all right with you. No, I don't do greetings. No, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> your birthday. Uh, happy birthday, Angelina. Angelina, happy birthday. How old will she be? Do you know? All right, Angelina. You, if you're there, let us know. That's a great question. Um, yeah, I will, I'll ask her. Um, okay. I'm sure. June 6th. How old are you going to be, Angeline? Uh, just let us know. Okay. I have to say, that night we went out in New York was so much fun. Yes, dude. Okay. So yeah. you and I, uh, we went, met at the bar. We, we had messaged a little bit about mm. an interview, and then... We wound up hanging out. That yeah, it was, was fun, wasn't it? We went to uh, that was a, a weird event, though, right? We went. We to, went to the event with all the housewives, and only one of the housewives turned up. <laughs> right. <laughs> it was supposed to be an event with <laughs> Atlanta, uh, Cynthia Bailey, mm -hmm. and then it, it was a whole event for her. And then the, the the guests didn't even show up, but it was it was nice, right? I mean, it was. Yeah, it, I. It was a great. I enjoyed dancing in the DJ box with the DJ. That was fun. Yes. <laughs> Let me tell you guys something. I, I've been around a lot of countries. We didn't even get through the door. The guy at the door looked at Tom and started freaking out. But he yeah, was my, I love those. It's like, you know the guys? They're like, my, my wife loves you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, everywhere we went, we went to the cigar bar, and then we went yeah. to the bar in Midtown. The guys at the bar, remember that the guys at the bar in Midtown Manhattan recognized... Oh, they were all buying me drinks, weren't they? It was nuts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was crazy. I, I forgot about that. I was, like, well gone by that time. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, yeah, I, I could not... I mean, I've never been with someone. Just Tom is very... Everybody loves Tom. Everybody loves him. <clears throat> so so what, what does your day consist of? I guess, like, are you are you working on any business stuff? Uh, it's been really difficult because it's like I was saying to you, I've got a distribution company in Argentina. So the economy is bad enough as it is. But with everything being we, we had to shut a couple of the shops down. We're still playing the staff, obviously, but uh, trying to make it more diverse and online and seeing like in Brazil, they closed the manufacturing plant down. You can't get consignments into the country. So it's just a matter of waiting. Um, so that's been a bit of a hardship, I guess, for the last 
three months now. Um, but I'm doing, I'm doing like lots of other stuff. I think one of the great things about, obviously, I went on this show not knowing what it was. I told you at the time. I, I, I didn't even really know what the show was about. Mm -hmm. And in hindsight, I probably should have watched it. Um, but you end up in, in this area of like television and I was just myself. So good, bad and ugly. You got all of me. I wasn't pretending to be anything else. I, I was just myself. So I think I kind of upset people because in the first series, people are like, he's such a gentleman. I've never said that. I've never said I'm a gentleman. It's just a perception of someone. So by the second series, by saying and doing certain things, obviously that's changed perception of me somewhat but i'm all of those things i'm kind loving and i'm an obnoxious pig as well at times so i own it and i hold my hands up if i've done something wrong at least i apologize for it so um but it's crazy because it opens up so many other doors to things that you'd never even dream of doing like like what about i mean since you started being on the show it have got a lot of like has celebrities like what can you say like what celebrities have reached out to you like how has that been because yeah. i can tell you know, I've known Ashley has been a friend of mine for a while, and I've known the different people from the show, and they've always told me how, you know, it's great that the fans are so into it. You know, there's 3.3 .3 million people that watch it. Yeah. And then when I started doing the interviews, I was like, I have like a small take of what you guys must go through as far yeah, as. That's crazy. Wow. You know, these, they're really. Uh, I always made a point of kind of, because the way I work, I've always got like three or four hours either on a plane or a train or in a cab. So I, I respond to everyone, I always have. And it's funny because it's like, you do have celebrities contact you and it's like that feeling you get having a celebrity contact you, you don't realize. Oh, did I lose you? Oh, there you go. Tom, I can't, I can't hear you. Are you guys, is it me or is it you? It's always you, Tom. I think it's me. It's always you. I'll, I'll see you later. All right, Rick. Yeah, I'll be around. Tom, I can't. I don't know what's going on here. Hang on. Oh, what did I do? Are you guys still there? Did I lose them? Hang on. Let me try to do this again. Oh, we got a, quite a bit of hate here. Okay. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to get Tom back. I don't know what happened here. Uh-huh. Where did he go? I think, I think we lost Tom. Let me try it again. Go live with Tom Brooks. Okay, I said Tom Brooks is unable to join. Were you guys able to see him? No, he did not ditch me. He was right in the middle of talking and it was going well. I think I lost connection. Let's see if he comes back. Um, I'm going to read some of your... He's frozen. Okay, Angela. Yeah, you're right. So I think he lost reception. Okay, so we have a lot of Darcy fans in here. So what did you guys think? A lot of people, why Why is it that a lot of you guys don't like Tom? Like, what, what did he do that was so wrong? If you can explain that. Because, I, like I said, I've met, I've met Darcy once, messaged with her a little bit. I've met Tom, hung out with him, and, and he seemed like a really nice guy. I, did, I didn't – so I, I'm just trying to understand. I realized that it didn't go well when they were – when he dropped off the letter and everything like that. Um, yeah, I think, he, I think he's gone. But uh, a, lot, a lot of hate. A lot of, a lot of hate messages here, guys. <laughs> so just try to figure out why. Hopefully he will – okay, so we got some lovers. A lot of you – okay. There's the Tom fans. Yeah. Also, don't think that – don't forget that some of this stuff, you know, obviously you don't really know behind the scenes how these things are edited. And I realize everybody already knows that. But you think he is – okay, Jill, people feel that he's full of himself and is a narcissist. English are a breed of their own North Americans and are emotion. I got you. 
Tom, come back. Yeah, so I don't know. There was also a petition that was out that Lisa should not be at the tell-all. And I'm not sure why people feel that way. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with her going on the tell-all and speaking her side, because that's the idea. That's the idea of the tell-all. I'm going to try. Yep, he's unavailable to join. I don't know. I guess I guess we lost connection there. Who's this? Oh, there he is. I think he's coming back. I'm back. <laughs> Battery died. <laughs> yeah. you know, it's been like, I think for me, it's been one of the most humbling experiences in my life because I don't consider myself to be a celebrity. I just went and did a show. That's, and when I'm in the US, like you said, we go out and I get so much attention. I don't get that here. I walk down the street, no one knows me. It's wonderful. Really? Um, yeah, well, it's a small village. I, I, the next door neighbors know I was on the show and they kind of like say hi and because, but they know me anyway, so it's no big deal. No one makes a fuss of it. Um, but it's a humbling experience. I mean, I did a meet and greet at the Hotel Chantel and okay. I had like 600 people turn up for a charity event we did. And it was just, we raised so much money for a uh, cancer research um, and another heart foundation company. It was great. And to be able to actually use the platform to do something good with actually makes it worthwhile. Yeah. But I still can't. It's like, like I said to you, I respond to as many people as I can. Um, it's interesting at the moment because it's the first season's airing in South America. So I speak Spanish. So I'm just like, I'm doing the two languages during the day at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> now, what celebrity, like, is it public at all? Like, what celebrities, like, are people reaching out to you? Well, I had like uh, Richard Greco from 21 Jump Street. We've become like really, really good friends. It just through the show. So he saw you. Yeah, like he, we started talking about a year ago and like he's invited me to go and see him in Cali. So I'll go and do that when all this is over, I guess. But yeah, just I had like Seth Rogen start following me. Oh. Uh, yeah, that was like kind of like, oh my God, he actually watches the show. Oh, what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> but even, even down to like the cast members that have been on the show before, I still like even Angela. Like I've met Matt Angela and out of all the people I've met, she was the one that I kind of really got on with the most and kept in contact with. But even that for me, I was a bit starstruck. It's like, she's been on it for so many years. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And she's just such a character. So it's, even people on the show, when we talk to them, it's kind of like, and I think I had a little bit of that this year with the people that had come onto the show. They kind of, I, we talk and we reached out and, and even that's kind of like, oh my God, they're doing really well. I'm proud of the people that are on it that are doing really well. How does, how does that work? Like, so obviously you don't know them until the season starts, you know, and then. No, uh, no. no. And, you know, and then it's just, it's like, I, I found it when I started, no one told you anything. Um, what to do, where to go, how to deal with anything. There's no pr people that say you deal with public like this, deal with the press like this. You, there's no guideline. And from what I learned, when they started speaking to me, I was like, it's probably better if you do this, this, and this in terms of different aspects about what we're doing. And then like put them in touch with all the sites that they can actually make some money out of. Yeah, so I mean, how does that work? Like, so you get on the show and then all of a sudden people start messaging you and say, yeah. you promote on your Instagram, right? That's, that's a new thing for you, right? So I mean, how, how do you deal with that where you're like, I don't know, charge, I don't know, do you have to, like, are there agents that are contacting you too? Yeah, I got like a couple of agents, one in LA and one in New York. But I'm really specific with what I want to promote. I wouldn't promote anything I didn't want to like wear or use or drink or so it's just, can you please promote this item? And it's like, well, no, because I would never wear it or never use it. And then are they offering you, and I, I don't want, not nothing specific, but I mean, like, are they offering you like thousands of dollars just to put up like a diet shake and, and you're like, yeah. Yeah, so that's that's kind of how it works. Yeah, but if I wouldn't if I wouldn't drink, it's like okay, I lost like fifty five pounds. I'm not going to say I used a product to help me that I didn't. Yeah. So if, I, if it's like I, I I don't even publish the products that I did use because it was just like I have a system of diet and my friend did it for me. So it's like why would I pretend it was anything else? Now, are, is there been other cast members that are like, hey, I know you. I was on the show before. Let me help you like get through this. Because I can imagine it's a lot, you know? Yeah, the, like, yeah, Ashley. Ashley? 
Yeah, because like, I've met her a couple of times at some of the events. And then a couple of the guys from, you know, who do like, uh, what was it, The Bachelor and stuff? Yeah. So it's like other people from other types of reality shows that I talk to. Um, yeah, just... I, I reached out to a few and then you become friends with some of them and you share information and you, if you have a problem, you talk about it with them because they kind of understand what you're going through. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's kind I, of I like, I love, you know, what's really funny about me is if you said something that hit a nerve that was actually genuinely true, then I'd probably be upset about it. Yeah. Which I didn't really give much of my life outside of what you saw on TV. So there's nothing that they can really attack me. If they, like they, I posted a picture of my niece who was like four and somebody's making horrible comments. And I was abusive with them because I don't tolerate that. Yeah. But I need to, that's the one thing I wish I could stop. Because it's like, if you, I don't mind what you say about me. It's great. I actually have fun with it. It's, it's like, I, how, how, how many like messages that are negative can I respond to and have fun and get to a point where they're enraged and then just block them? It's funny. I have fun with it. <laughs> you could be the president of the United States. You're a good troll. <laughs> Fire. So yeah, how do you deal with how do you deal with that? So I mean, now that stresses a lot of people out. Like where there's you know I know that with Lisa she she's posted about the interview that we did and everything and mm -hmm. but won't let you comment because you know they're pretty brutal with her and I realize it's a probably a personality thing because I get a lot of negative comments you know and I love it I'm like okay just let people speak mm -hmm. their mind. I don't yeah, really I think there's so many people don't realize that if they come on your page and leave it whatever they put. It's actually helping you with the algorithm. So it's like, come and say what you want. I don't mind. Yeah. It's so fun. it's never, never gotten like, like, what if they talk about your family? Or like, is that where it crosses the line? Yeah, I think so. When they like, some people are called, like they call my sister out and I defend her because that's what I do. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, she just like, her, her and my mother like troll my trolls. <laughs> 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 to a point where it's like, can you stop doing that for a little while? Uh, no, it's just the only thing that anyone's bothered me about is when they attack my knees, because like, what's, what's a four-year-old child got to do with it? Yeah. Because they say, it, it's really odd. If you, you, you're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't. So it's like, why do you take so many selfies? And it's like, because Instagram's about content, and I don't pay a full-time photographer. So then it's like, okay, maybe they're right. Maybe it's too many. So you go and get a full-time photographer to take photos. Who do you think you are? Do you think you're a celebrity? So you can't win. It's like, oh, why don't you post more stuff about your family? And then you do, and then they attack your family. So it's like, you can't actually win. So I think it's all about really finding what it is you're interested in and just posting about what your interests are and who you are as a person, I guess. And I'm doing a deal with a travel company. So I'm going to be going, once all this is over, to about 18 different foreign destinations. And I want to be involved in blogging about travel. And I'm also doing a YouTube channel. There's, everyone asks me, what, what's England like? We're, we're the best. I don't know. It's like, I haven't really traveled much in England. So I thought it'd be fun to catalog, like go through the UK, find 20 great places, do it the way I'd want to, but then do it on a, like a shoestring. Yeah. So now, you can have the complete contrast. How crazy, like, what's, do you, what's the craziest thing when you do these meet and greets? Like, what's the craziest thing? That, that a fan does are they like are you signing babies are people getting your name tattooed on? oh no no the be i think the best one i had i did a, i did a meet and greet in canada and there was a tattoo parlor next door and nancy the woman she said i'm your biggest fan in canada and she's great personality and she's like i'd love for you to sign my finger so i sign a finger and but known to me she goes next door and has my signature tattooed on a finger yeah and that wasn't the crazy bit. She said, you know something? If you don't like it, fuck you. And if you do, I'm going to go home and you. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that was the, be that was the best one. And then the there's a lot of people that cry. They cry when, you yeah, when they meet you? Yeah. And there's always that like, huge shock of them actually meeting you. And it's like, I'm just, you've met me. I'm not, I'm just a normal guy. I don't. Absolutely. Yeah, and it's kind of, it's, it's nice at sometimes, but then it's like when you're just trying to have a nice, like I think I was in, um, in Canada in, in a sushi bar and they were so, they'd followed me around the whole of the, because I, I was taking live videos of where I was going and they'd actually followed me all around and ended up in the sushi bar to just coming up photos with me and that was a bit full on. Is that, I mean, is that weird? Like you're sitting there at a restaurant and you look around and like someone's just recording you while you're sitting there? Is that... Yeah. 
Yeah, or just you'd like. I'm, I I travel to Jersey a lot. My best friend lives there, and it's people at the at the underground have like taken a photo from like a really low angle. Mm -hmm. You come on, you know, you know, I'm all about my angles. Stop it. <laughs> you could have just asked for a photo. <laughs> oh. So okay, I I mean obviously we, I don't want to talk about anything about the show like from the past or anything. No. From the future, obviously, I don't want to give away anything. But I mean, yeah. are you, like. Let me ask you this, and if it's okay, if you can't answer. But I mean, with these couples, right? Like you're home, mm. you're, you are watching your own season, right? And I, 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 you know, in honesty, the whole first season I was in, I didn't watch. It was I, I didn't want to see myself on television. And then I watched the first seven episodes in New York, and I haven't watched it since I got back. You haven't. So watched all I all I really see is what people send me clips on Instagram, and that's about it. Okay. Now, do you do you watch? Big Bros, are you watching the, or David? I've watched the memes. There's a guy called Kevin that does memes of him. Yeah. And it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> now, do you, did you see the picture of him from when he was younger? Did you see that? Like where he actually was like a good looking, like 22 year old guy. He was actually a really good. Yeah. Guy. No, I haven't. Re I don't. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> the one bit I have, like the one scene I saw with him, was the mouthwash incident. And he kept giving her toothbrushes and mouthwash and stuff, which I thought was a bit off. But there was one scene, and it's just in my head. It, it was when, when they came to the table, he's like, I've got the most romantic table with the best view. And the waiter comes over. In my mind, it was like, Garçon, two glasses of your finest mouthwash, please. <laughs> <laughs> but that's about it. That's all, yeah, I don't really, uh, yeah. I think, you know, because you talk to people, I don't want my, I understand how it's produced. So I don't want the, me watching their story and then it cloud my judgment as to who they are as people. So I, I tend not to. Who are you like in communication with that's on this season? Like, are you, are you hanging out with people? Like, are there people that you kind of go back or like, is there anyone that, I mean, yeah, I, I'll, I'll like, I'll hang out with Ash. Ashley. Yeah. No, no, Ash, uh, the Australian guy. Uh, um, Australia, right? Or yeah, he's a good, he's a good character. He just he reminds me of a friend, you know. You you just like, you meet someone and you talk, and it's the same banter. And so yeah, yeah we get on really well. Uh, Lisa, I've spoken to Usman. I've spoken to uh, Stephanie, Erica, uh, David. David's actually a really nice guy. I yeah. like David. I got yeah, I got a lot of time for David. Really, I mean yeah, I mean, but, I mean, but it's difficult. Like if you've watched with David, I mean. It, would you be able to do what he's doing? I mean, seven years of like, I mean, isn't it a little bit psychotic? You you know me, don't you? Enough well, to know this. That... <laughs> <laughs> be enough one. But I mean, I mean, but I mean, it's just it's hard. I want to like him, but it's so crazy. It's like, dude, seven years you didn't meet someone. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if he's like mentally stable or maybe I'm just misreading. No, I just, I don't judge them from what I see. Like I said, I judge them for like who I've met or how they've spoken with me or how we engage. So just, no, I, I have a lot of time for him. He's a very interesting person. Um, so, yeah. Is Ash misunderstood? Because he gets a lot of hate too, or people. I, mean, I love to, I, I have so much fun with him. I'll ring him up in the middle of the night or whatever. And I just go, I've got a really important question to ask you. And you go, okay, yeah, fire away, what is it? And I go, what's in the nothing box? <laughs> Does he get your humor? Does he get yes. it? <laughs> I don't I know the geographical divide there. I was like, I don't know, I don't know if he get it. That, that, now, so there's a lot of girls that are mess messaging while we're talking and mm. be in love with you. So okay. uh, I know that you're dating someone right now, but there's a chance that that might not work out. You know, and and what like what is it, what what is it that you're looking for in a woman? You know, like do you have your different types. I mean, I'll, I don't think I've. It's, if you look at like who I've dated in the past, you could possibly say the last two that you've seen a similar kind of look, I guess, in terms of blonde hair and height. Um, but no, I've dated all different types of women from different. I've lived in six different countries, so you don't necessarily date all the same type of person. What about a boy? Um, you know what I mean? Like, what, what is it emotionally that you look for or personality-wise? I, I think this time when I'm looking for someone, I really need someone that's kind of loving and caring first and foremost for themselves. 
and someone that doesn't work in television. Right. Um, someone that's just got the normal nine to five, goes to work, has their routine, likes to go out and enjoy life. Um, it's hard. You, you, like being in the public eye and having a relationship is the hardest thing you could imagine. Yeah. And it's distorted because even myself, I, like I've looked at stuff and I can't remember it ever happening like that. Right. So like, it's kind of, you get a warped sense of what actually was and then you question yourself and then you have hundreds of people, thousands of people questioning you, questioning your relationship. And then you, that puts doubt in your mind. So I don't think I'd want to do that again. Not in a public forum anyway. How do you deal with it? So if you meet someone they're not a TV person. They're mm. private lives. They obviously know who you are and that you're public. I mean, how do you, how do, you do that where you're like, okay, eventually you're going to get caught being a person or they're going to yeah. I mean, like, do you, do you have to plan all that out? Like, listen, I don't want anyone to know that we're together. Like, and obviously you want to meet a girl that, you know, cause there's, there's a lot of girls that are like, hey, I want to date you. Like, let's you know, but, you know. Yeah, it's just, it's an, it's an odd place to find yourself in because you're getting obviously a lot of attention. Yeah. And as a man, that's kind of a nice thing, I guess. Um, but then to actually find someone that you, you can actually trust, who's, who's trying to get a story, who just wants a photo to post, who's really interested in who you are and not just you've been on reality TV. So it's, and like you said, when you're with somebody, I don't want my relationship in a public forum. Yeah, and it's difficult because they all have friends that watch the TV show. There's no other people that so you, you can't get away from it to a yeah. point where I just feel like disappearing for six months. Yeah, turning off my social media and then coming back and it's like, oh, okay, you got one or two stories, but I'm no longer relevant. Yeah, I got you. yeah, it gets overwhelming. So it's like that's mm -hmm. so, so that's kind of how it works. Like with the the girls, like you might meet someone. Who some interest but then they do they start if you met people that are like okay they're being pushed about getting attention for being with you. yeah so i just and i think it's you, you go and meet a, a group of friends that they know and they've watched your story and they're like what the hell are you doing with him oh <laughs> <laughs> but now have you ever been married I, I i don't know i haven't no no i was i was with someone for eight years i have a daughter with her which i i that's one thing I'll thank Darcy for is I said, I don't want her bringing up in the show, which she didn't. Um, they live in Switzerland. Yeah. Um, so I, I just, I wanted that. I didn't even want that involving in the show. Um, so yeah, I've had like long relationships. I'm not just a uh, revolving door as my sister likes to call me. <laughs> but you do like to get married. So. Yeah, eventually. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I don't know if I want a family. Yeah. In terms of more children, I think that's a huge commitment. So unless it's with the right person, then no. Um, but yeah, of course, I'd like to meet someone that I want to spend the rest of my life with. I think we all do at some point. Of course, yeah. And then we can't just we can't just go out every like Friday night and sit in champagne and cigar bars, can we? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, eventually, they're going to close. Yeah, you're right. Or I'll die of lung cancer. Mm. Um, yeah. <laughs> you were friends with Darcy for so long. Right. I mm. mean, you guys just not talking at all anymore. Like, is it because it's I mean, you're friends with her. You're young, right? Like you've known her for is it over? Right. 10 yeah. No, about five, just maybe six years almost. Six years. Yeah. But I mean, because yeah, I'm, I'm in the, I, and I was married for 16 years and then we got mm. separated and we still text a lot and hang out because it's like regardless, we're still friends, you know, so I mean, I don't I know it's difficult. You know, yeah, but, we. we we kind of haven't had that. No. Um, and I think for what, like, until all this blows over, it's like, you're yeah. still living in the story. It's like, it happened so long ago and you're having to relive it. And then you're in the midst of like, you're having to relive it all over again. So you can't really detract from that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. She'll always be my friend. Yeah. Because it's a three month delay, right? Because I was talking to Jeffrey and he was like, you know, he's like trying to retract. He's like, you know, Three months went by when Varya left, uh, and then she she came back and surprised him. So that's why he was mm -hmm. on. They think people feel like this is live, you know. But I mean, it's yeah. I guess they don't understand the process of how things are made. I guess, and yeah, the, then you're having to connect the timelines. 
Yeah. If, if you did something, it's like, it's like me asking you, okay, you know when we went to the bar six months ago, you know the guy we spoke to and he wasn't very pleasant? How did you feel about that? And you just like, I don't remember. I don't even, re I don't even remember meeting that guy. One, one person wrote in a question, how did you meet Darcy? Uh, on Facebook, um, I had a Brazilian sportswear brand that I was selling in Argentina and I wanted a, an American brand to put in the store and she was selling House of Eleven, and it seemed like a pretty good brand. Demi Lovato had been wearing it, and like one of the guys who sings Happy and stuff. So I was, we talk, started talking about bringing from America to uh, Argentina her brand, which was so difficult at the time because of the import and export licenses, um, more so things entering into Argentina. Um, so we became friends, and yeah, the rest is history, I guess. Facebook. All right, so if these girls, uh, are you sure? Okay, sorry, we're getting get, trying to read some of the questions. But mm. if so, if people are want to you now, Tom is in a committed relationship. But you'll still talk to the girls, you know, because I, I, I was talking to uh, Lisa, right? Mm. And girls are hitting up Usman, and it seems like a very difficult situation for them, where you know I think they don't realize, you know, if you just start bonding. You know, it doesn't mean that, you're, you know, that you're, yeah, yeah, I, you're yeah, I get, I get everything from people messaging me and it's like, hi, how are you? And I say, okay. And the next thing it's a naked picture. <laughs> really? it's like, oh, seriously, to really nice, genuine people that are just like, I've seen you on the show, a really nice person to people that just can't stand you, which is just like, why would you take the time out of your day to stop paying and spend it? <laughs> 25 minutes writing me an essay about how much you don't like me. I never got that. Um, yeah, to, yeah, people that just want to trap you. So there's a lot of, I think this year in particular, more so than the first season I was on, there's so many false accounts and people just trying to steal a little bit of the, the attention. And it's like, oh, I know, I'll, I'll message every guy that's in the show the same message. That one's messaged me back. Let's have fun with them. And it, unfortunately, if you engage, then they print it all over the internet, so. So they try to trap you into like saying something what, like inappropriate or like sexy with them or, or flirting? Yeah, I, I was gonna send someone a cockpit, but I couldn't get it all in the monitor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> wide angle lens, yeah. Yeah, I know, so it's just like, why would you, I wouldn't, I don't really wanna do that anyway. So it's like, but some, I don't know. Oh, did we lose him again? No, 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 it's you. Oh, there you okay. go, you're back. Okay. Yeah, I, I think it's hard. It's like if you're new on the scene and you're getting all that attention and you just, like, men will be men, won't they, at the end of the day? Yeah. No, I know. I <laughs> <laughs> I really have these girls message me about the interviews, like, oh, mm -hmm. where do you live? You know, it's like, <laughs> kind of want to divert the conversation to yeah. other than the show. So, I mean, have you gotten a lot of the cast members have been getting death threats, people taking it that far? Like, have they gone that far with you where people are like, I had all my car tires slashed. Yeah, your tires slashed? Yeah, and I've had like one person removed from the property as well. Yeah. With what did they do? The remove from the property? Is that what you said? Yeah, just con continually coming over. And every time I kind of came through the lobby, they wanted to like get a photo or talk because I just I had to have them removed from the building. <laughs> oh my! And where was that? Where was the tire slashing? Was that in the UK or in New York? Yeah, in the UK. Yeah. They sl did they leave a note or something or? No, but it was the weekend after the uh, "Have you put on weight?" comment. So. <laughs> so it was a fat. It was one of my people. It was a fat fat person. Yeah. <laughs> Like, in fairness, in fairness, I never said she was fat, and I never said I didn't like her bigger. Okay, that's true. Because it's not, now, now, a lot of that, too, as watching that, you too, you know, like, American women are bigger, you know, because I, mm -hmm. I in Europe, and they'll try to, like, bring me back a shirt or something, and I'm like, bro, I'm, <clears> I'm not, not a large, you know, I know in their country, they're small. So, I mean, do you, are you okay with bigger women? Because it's a, it's, no, it's. of course, yeah. So no, I, I like I, I like a nice ass. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. 
a lot of people are commenting about her lips. I mean, is that something like that bothers you? That, that's even, like for me, that's kind of if, like for one to talk about someone else, unless it's in fun and joke and it's for reasons. One, I probably don't want to talk about it. But I, and if I can talk about my own experience, yeah, you get offered all these treatments for free, and you yeah. go along and you have like a little bit of stuff done in your eyes and you think oh that looks better and then you go back and you and before you know it you've had like fillers in your cheeks and like i looked at myself in the mirror i was like what have we done i can't even smile anymore <laughs> so you I went, for, I went for cold sculpting i had like five grand's worth of cold sculpting where they freeze the fat in your stomach and i felt like i'd been kicked by a horse oh my god yeah i've heard about this so what yeah. what you're like what are they what is what is that because I, I one of my clients is dr miami who's a plastic yeah. And I don't really know how it all works, and I'm really squeamish. I've been in the operating room, and I almost passed out. True story. Mm. So, I mean, like, what, what is cold sculpting? They freeze the areas of fat, and then over 90 days, it breaks down the molecular structure, and the fat doesn't come back in the same place. And it works? Yeah. So okay. what did you do your stomach? Because you lost, what, 55 pounds, right? Yeah, so I had all my stomach down, and I actually got to a point where I was – I. Like I looked really thin to put, I actually lost too much weight because you become obsessed with it, don't you? Maybe. Yeah, I, well, I did. I just became obsessed with losing weight. And I, I looked at myself one day and I was like, no, you've actually lost too much weight. So I put 10 pounds back on and I feel healthier for it. What did you, how did you do that? Did you just start eating like fast food and stuff or like? No, just, I was like, I had such a strict diet. Yeah. Uh, eating every three hours cider vinegar protein shakes and so i just like no it's too obsessive and i was training like three hours a day so now i just do 45 minutes in the morning and that's it and i eat healthily are you modeling or is it i mean you're taking i see a lot of your photos they look professional I've, I've done some yeah i've, I've done yeah. some for the older gent oh it is it something you want to do more of like a, a new career path oh i don't know i think i've passed that for, yeah. but um <laughs> yeah it's fun. No, it's like if someone rings up and said, do you want to like model some clothing for us? And they pay you to do it. Well, why not? It's fun. Yeah. No, absolutely. Tom, this has been fun. So what, what, what can we promote <laughs> that you're doing? Sorry. <clears throat> <clears throat> I see a lot of comments about me smoking. Either it's okay to smoke cigars. You don't smoke though, do you? We smoke. Uh, yeah, yeah, we smoke cigars. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I smoke too. I, I see all your hateful comments about the cigars. Cigars are good. So, so what what are you promoting now? Uh, at the moment, I'm working with I Beverages, okay. uh, which is, they do like water, and I think they didn't like a deal with the military for their water and stuff. So that's pretty. I'm doing that, and then the other one, I've got a I've got to fly to Vegas when I can because I'm going to have all veneers done. So I'll be promoting. Yeah, I thought why not? Did you get them done already? No. No, I need, but it's one thing, like, British people don't really have great teeth. Right. And yeah. it's just, I, it's like, if I'm going to be in America and I look around, it's like, I look like I've been punched by Tyson. <laughs> so I need, I need them done too, the veneers. Is it, is mm. it a thousand, now did you get a deal because of your notoriety or is, is it a thousand? Uh, yeah, I get, it's $25,000 worth of teeth for nothing as long as they can film me having it done. That's yeah. right. That's the way yeah, so I'll have those done. And that's it. And then the only other thing is so my friend, Jen, who you know, who does, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll go, I'll go and get some, she does Brotox. So have a little bit of Brotox now and again, and that's it. Now, what is that? They, they, what do they eject you in your eye? Oh, no, no, it's Botox in my forehead. Forehead. So, yeah, I look angry all the time because I've got such frowns in my, my forehead. So it's just. Have you, have you started, have you done any treatments yet? Yeah, I did some with it. They were great. Yeah. Oh, she didn't offer yeah. Brotox. I was at her house. You talking about travel by Jen? No, no. Uh, the other Jen who does all Ashley's stuff as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But when, we, when I come back to New York, we should go and get it done together. That'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll definitely do it. When they do <laughs> your veneers, don't they got to like file your teeth down to like nothing? No, they're having the ones where they just take the front off and then I don't want like little nub ends that keep falling out every... God. So they, yeah, they do a different. It's a different one where they kind of just take the front off your enamel off your teeth and then put them in. Oh, okay. So they're not they're like that was the part I didn't like. They get them mm -hmm. done with nubs. 
and then they fall out and you've got like yeah. <laughs> so they just take it off and got it all and it's a good person and it's in vegas right yeah awesome and then i, I, I actually i had the best like in the last six months of being an american before i came home the best time was in vegas it was nuts i was doing a conference at the mgm grand talking about uh social leveraging of Instagram and how to use it in marketing to promote brands. And kind of, I ended up partying three nights. Oh. So it was like Sapphires rang me and said, like, come down, we'll give you a table, free drinks all night. <laughs> so then, so I got in at like 6 a.m. and then had to go and talk at eight. So that wasn't pretty. Um, Are you traveling alone when you do that? So do you have an assistant that goes, is it just you? Trying? Uh, sometimes, yeah, sometimes I take an assistant with me, but usually I go on my own. But you'd probably be good to have like a responsible babysitter. Make sure you don't party too much. Yeah, but I'm a bad influence. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink, Tom. You got to bring me. I don't drink. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. Next time. Yeah, there was, a, there was a car garage that just let me drive sports cars all day long. So I kept like, I'd take one out and they said, oh, when you've had enough of that one, come and try another one. So that was, that was really cool. Smart cars? Is that what you said? No, uh, hi. There were. A, it was a car company, a car garage that was there that had high pristine sports cars. Oh, what did you drive? Which ones? Uh, Aston Martin DB11, Aviator, Rolls Royce Phantom, the new Lamborghini Jeep. Um, what else did I drive? So, like a six series BMW supercharged thing. It's great. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. yeah. So you're taking advantage of the freebies, right? So they. Yeah, well, I love it. Like, so I'll post a picture of me in New York. And I, I, like, if I'm in New York, I don't have a car because I don't need one. But when someone rings me up and said, would you like a Ferrari for the day? I'm not going to say no, and then I'm not going to not film it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Absolutely. Yeah, you should come on, you know, the trips with Jen that we were with in New York. You know, yeah. Now, are you allowed to go on any of those? Yeah, I can, like, I, it's, it's crazy. It's like, can I do an interview with you and talk about the show? No, but I consider you as a friend. We've hung out. Yeah. So I can talk to my friend. And it's like, if Jen wants us all to hang out and go on vacation, I'll come. Cause so, they're, but they're very strict. Because I was telling that, I know that, you know, you sign the non-disclosure and everything. And, mm. and it's like, they, they want to own your life. You know, I mean, it's, it, it could be, it could be very difficult. You know, but I mean, it, I, in the end of the day, I mean, it helps the show anyway. You know, like the more stuff that, you know, because people can't get enough. They do these sneak sneak peeks and, you know, so I, I'm with you and I, and I appreciate it. I got uh, just a few seconds remaining, but mm. I appreciate you coming out. No, no, it's been good catching up. And when I'm back in New York, we have to hang out. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Be up. All right. Best. Thank you guys. Bye now. We'll see you next time. See you later.